Well, I want to welcome all of you here to talk about a national trend, what we've seen all across the nation, and we've seen it here in Columbus as well. And it's the recent national trend of violence against police, including that here in Columbus. The fact is that there's a 31% increase of gunfire fatalities of police officers all around the country. Uh, this has been a national trend that we're seeing. Uh, there have been six incidents this very month uh, in which a suspect either discharged or at least had a gun against our police officers. Uh, all involved had a gun, two fired, uh, all at least pointed a gun at a police officer. Fortunately, none of our officers were injured in these incidents, but their lives were very much at risk and in danger. And this is a disturbing trend, and it needs to stop. It needs to stop in Columbus, and it needs to stop across the country. For our officer safety, but also for the resident safety as well. Part of the problem is, and I've said this many times, there's simply too many guns on the streets of Columbus. Just in the past three years, we have confiscated 10,266 guns off the streets of Columbus. Just this, just this year alone, 1,800 guns have been confiscated uh, so far this year. And we got to get these guns off the streets of Columbus and off the streets of America. Now, what we're seeing here is a lack of common sense people acting without respect or decency or their own safety in mind and the safety of the community involved. Because when you have a, an encounter with police, you do not pull out a weapon. You don't pull out a gun. You don't do it ever. You don't ever pull out a gun. Under no condition should one ever consider pulling out a gun. If you do pull out a gun with an encounter with a police officer, you will probably be shot. That's a fact of life. Don't do it. It's crazy to pull out a gun, uh, particularly with a police officer. It's just, and here and throughout the country, our officers have been instructed and trained to meet deadly force with deadly force. I want folks to understand that this is not a video game where you can pull out a gun and shoot it, finish the game and press restart, and you go back into another situation and play the game again. This is not a game. This is not a video game. You pull out a gun, you will be shot. That's the way it is. Now, this summer, the summer, last summer, one group uh, has called last summer the summer of violence. This summer is the summer of intervention. And we've had a lot of successes, even though we're seeing this trend of uh, guns pointed at police officers. We've had a, a, some successes this past summer. And this summer is a summer of intervention. Last summer, as you know, we had 73 homicides to date. This summer we have 59. Uh, 59 is far too many, but 73 was way far too many. So this summer, in the summer of intervention, what we've done differently uh, is that we have a CRT team of 50 officers over the past 14 weeks where they've had substantially more citizen contact, 10,000 more contacts with citizens. We've had 
And that's on the enforcement side. They've picked up guns and, and uh, they've made arrests and they've had community policing and offensive tactics. In addition, we've intervened in young people's lives as well. And that intervention included programs like APPS. The APPS program we started in our rec centers this summer where we have reached out and touched the lives of some 2,600 young people through programs to keep them off the streets, more engaged in uh, productive activities during this past summer. This summer we had no federal dollars to spend on summer jobs, yet we brought together the private sector and 2,000 young people were hired this summer. We had city readers, where we had a couple of hundred young people involved in city readers and Capital Kids program where hundreds of kids were engaged in, in the summer programming as well, all emanating from the city. So while we've had a lot of successes uh, this past summer, these is issues with our police officers is a very disturbing trend. It needs to stop and it needs to stop now. There is no excuse. It needs to stop.